اهلا بكم uh, I will continue today the uh, misplaced the lines and the tubes in the chest in the last episode we finished already the endotracheal uh, tubes uh, today I will give you an idea about the intravascular catheters uh, which are uh, central venous catheters uh, peripherally inserted uh, uh, central catheters or PICC uh, pulmonary artery catheters or what is known as swan gan uh, catheters and the hemodialysis catheter or double human catheter or what is known as permacath starting with the uh, central venous catheters central venous catheters uh, what they do used in critically ill patients for venous access to and still chemotherapeutic and hyperosmolar agents not suitable for peripheral venous administration used for measurement of central venous pressure and also used for maintaining and monitoring the intravascular blood volume. Regarding correct placement of the central venous catheter, uh, it has to descend lateral to the spine. This is very important. It has to descend lateral to the spine and its tip has to be in the region of the superior vena cava as you see in this image. Also in this plain x-ray chest, uh, this is the example for uh, correct placement of the central venous catheter inserted through the right anterior jugular vein, as you see, descending parallel to the spine, to the right side, and its tip here in the region of the superior vena cava. Regarding incorrect placement of the central venous catheter, most often malplaced in right atrium, which can cause arrhythmia, as well as uh, inaccurate uh, central venous pressure reading. Um, occasionally uh, inserted outside the blood vessels. Uh, you can expect arterial placement when you have pulsatile flow in addition to oblique direction of the catheter not parallel to the uh, spine. And you have also check for pneumothorax after successful or unsuccessful attempt. This is example for malpositioning of uh, central venous catheter here inserted through the left antennal jugular vein and instead of going to the uh, left precocephalic vein and the supervena cava here it malpositioned in the left subclavian extending to the left axillary vein as you see here. Another example for malpositioning of central venous catheter inserted through the right subclavian vein but as you see, there is pulsatile uh, flow. Uh, that's why they suspect maybe it is a malposition in the artery. And if you notice, the course is oblique, uh, going toward the spine, not parallel to the spine. So this is arterial placement of the central venous catheter. Another example for malpositioning of the central venous catheter inserted through the right internal jugular vein going to the right subclavian vein, as you see here, not to the superior vena cava. Regarding complications of malpositioning of central venous catheter, uh, it can cause air embolism, pneumothorax, hemothorax, cardiac perforation, sepsis, and venous perforation. This is example for complication of central venous catheter after correct placement. However, there is marked left-sided pneumothorax with collapse of the left lung, as you see here. Coming to the second one, which is peripherally inserted central catheters or PICC. What they do? Used for long-term venous access for months, either for administration of medications like chemotherapy or antibiotics used for frequent blood sampling because it has a small size so it can be inserted into anti vein. So the correct placement through the anti vein going to the axillary vein, subclavian vein, superior vena cava and its tip as you see it has to be in the region of the superior vena cava. Malpositioning and complication Tips may become malpositioned over time and the thrombosis of the line may occur because of its small lumen size. 
This example for correct placement of peripheral inserted central catheter, as you see, inserted through the left anticubital vein going to the axillary subclavian vein, left brachiocephalic vein, and etc. as you see here, located in the region of the superior vena cava. As you notice, it has very small caliber. Another example of uh, peripheral inserted central catheter inserted through the right anticubital vein going to the right axillary vein, right subclavian vein, and its step here in the region of the superior vena cava. This is normal position of, center of peripheral inserted central catheter. This is example for malpositioning of uh, peripheral inserted central catheter. Malpositioned here in the left internal jugular vein. As you see, the catheter is coming uh, from the region of the left anticubital vein to the axillary vein to subclavian, but here instead of going to the left brachiocephalic vein, it is uh, uh, directed to the left internal jugular vein. Coming to the third catheter, which is pulmonary artery catheters, or what is known as Swangan's catheter. What do they do? Monitor hemodynamic status of critically ill patients, help in differentiation of cardiac from non cardiac pulmonary edema. Regarding correct placement of a Swangan's catheter or uh, pulmonary artery catheters, it has the same appearance of central venous line but are longer. Inserted uh, via subclavian or internal jugular vein, its step has to be located either in proximal right or in proximal left pulmonary artery, about two centimeters from the hilum. As you see in this image here, this is the catheter inserted through the left subclavian vein, going to the left brachiocephalic vein to the supervena cava, going to the right atrium and through the tricuspid valve to the right ventricle, after that to the pulmonary trunk, and its tip, as you see here, has to be located in the proximal part of the left pulmonary artery, as you see here. Another example, for Swan-Gans catheter inserted through the left brachiocephalic vein to the left uh, uh, to the supervena cava, to the right atrium, to the right ventricle, and to the pulmonary trunk, and etc. As you see, has to be proximally located in the pulmonary artery, either right or left pulmonary artery. This is example for uh, correct placement of Swan-Gans catheter, as you see, going to the region of supervena cava, right atrium, region of right ventricle, to pulmonary trunk, and the etc. tip here, located proximally in the region of the right pulmonary artery. Regarding incorrect placement and complications of Swangan the catheter or pulmonary artery catheters, serious complications are uncommon. Pulmonary infarction is the most common from occlusion by the catheter. That's why you have to make sure that the catheter tip doesn't lie in a distal branch of pulmonary artery because this increases the risk of infarction. This is example for malpositioning of the pulmonary artery catheter or Swangan's catheter, as you see, going uh, from the right subclavian vein to right brachiocephalic vein to the superior vena cava to the right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, right pulmonary artery, but it's a tip, as you see, distal uh, pushed to one of the uh, pulmonary arteries here, you can expect the occlusion of this pulmonary artery by the balloon of the catheter, leading, leading to infarction. This example, chest x-ray showing malpositioning of the uh, pulmonary artery catheter. As you see, the tip is too much distally located here uh, in one of the right lower pulmonary arteries. So this is comparison between normal placement, correct placement, and incorrect placement. Compare between the tip here, which has to be in the proximal part of the artery, and the tip here, which is malpositioned in the distal part of the artery. Coming to the last catheter, which is double human catheters, or hemodialysis catheter. What do you do? Use the hemodialysis. Use the for simultaneous parts for administration of medications and the blood sampling. Regarding correct placement, the tip should be in either superior vena cava or right atrium. Some catheters are designed with separate lumens so that one tip in superior vena cava and the other one in the right atrium, as you see here. Here, this is double lumen catheter. One tip, as you see, in the superior vena cava and the other one in the right atrium. Example four. 
correct placement of uh, double lumen catheter or pulmonary or uh, hemodialysis catheter or permacath. Uh, one tip in the region of the superior cava and the other one in the right atrium. Regarding incorrect placement and complications, uh, it can cause pneumothorax, thrombosis, and infection. This is example for malpositioning of hemodialysis uh, catheter. It's a tip not reaching to the supervenic cava, but it's in uh, or it's a tip located in the right subcaribbean vein. So this is everything regarding the intravascular catheters. Inshallah, in the next episode, we will finish the uh, remaining uh, lines and the tubes in the chest. Thank you very much.